Hi, hello, it's Divya. What is the G stands for? The G stands for graphic design. Boop. In 2018, I had an illness. I was sick of these YA book covers looking the same. And I started a series called How to Design Your Own Trashy YA Book Cover. Let's say you're an author and you're like, I want to design a contemporary romance novel, but I can't afford to pay a graphic designer on five or 10 pounds to make my book cover. Honey, don't worry, I got you. Learning is basically just googling the answers and here we can take a look at all the romance covers now already you can see there is a trend the color palette bright colorful summary they've got these really short disproportionate block color people you know giving me bisexual flag you really want your book to scream you must read me in the summer titles are kind of vague like it happened one summer could even be a murder mystery. You really want the title to be one of the main elements of the cover as well. You know, you want a big handwritten font. Right now, it's all looking very het. Some sort of woman, some sort of man. Sometimes your title doesn't even have to relate to your book. So we've got Beach Read, which Lily has said is not even set on a beach. Don't ask me what that's about. The epitome of romantic couples is obviously Camila Cabello and Shawn Mendes. Two het people in a warm embrace about to kiss. What more could a romantic author want? I love these quarantine photos because they look like they've been locked in a dungeon for like 25 years and they finally escaped and discovered light. Um, which I feel like is such a mood. I just type in romance plot generator because I'm not out here trying to think for my own. Main protagonist, Camilla Hernandez. Born Miller, basic name. And a person who might cause conflict. I know the best person. Jeff Bezos. Nothing says this is the evil person of a story than the bold man who hates unions. Well, Jeff Bezos, pretty spiteful, callous. He's also cold-blooded. Man's a reptilian. They gotta have artsy jobs, you know, like one's an aspiring, struggling actor. And Jeff Bezos, well, he's a hairdresser. Boop. Camilla Hernandez is a sexy, hot, and special journalist from England. Her life is going nowhere until she meets Sean Miller, a stunning, handsome man with a passion for food. Because, you know, women's lives don't go anywhere until they meet the man. Camilla takes an instant disliking to Sean in the spiteful and callous ways he's learned during his years in Ohio. Enemies to lovers, we love it. However, when a ghost tries to shoot Camilla, Sean springs to the rescue. Camilla begins to notice that Sean is actually rather modest at heart. But the pressure of Sean's job as a musician leave him blind to Camilla's affections, and Camilla takes up writing to try and distance him. Finally, when a cold-blooded hairdresser, Jeff Bezos, threatens to come between them, Sean has to act fast. But will they ever find the magical love that they deserve? Sounds a bit shit. I don't think I'm going to use this. <laughs> Here I use the app Procreate to do this just because it's easier and I have a pen. All you want to do is trace the outline of your two romantic characters. If you notice in these examples, they just have like some element of interest in the background. And I thought I'm going to set my story in Havana because you know, Havana unana. Na 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 na. And you basically just want to fill it in with a color filler. I just typed in summer color palettes. Pick one that looks nice. The background, you want it to be bold, simple colors. So I use yellow to kind of make it stand out. And I find that a lot of these covers have like these illustrations that look like they've been traced, which is why I'm tracing it and I don't feel bad about it. I added like the tiniest bit of like shading and I blended that out with a noise brush to add a little bit of texture and interest. And by all means, you don't have to worry about the lighting or like, are the shadows right? Because in some of these covers, they really don't care either. I didn't want to put Jeff Bezos on the cover just because I feel like if you're trying to attract people to read your book, you don't want to be putting a reptilian on the cover unless you know, that's your vibes. Font choosing is like the longest thing in the world. I looked at so many of these fonts. I genuinely felt hypnotized and now whenever I meet anyone, I just call them Cinerita. I tried this font, but it was giving me too much call me by your name. And I was like, my story is not gonna be about a predator. So adding a little bit of grain really makes it a little bit, you know. And that's not just because I like rice. We add a novel just to make sure the reader knows that it's a novel. Added my name and you know that this is an a book cover tutorial. If I'm not the New York Times best-selling author. And there we go, you know, call me senorita. And pretty much every single contemporary romance novel of 2021 looks like this. And I thought, okay, let's make another one, but this time make it COVID themed because nothing says romance 
like a virus. I wanted to play with this whole two characters are at polar opposite ends of the book to show that there is a bit of division or some sort of conflict between them. Just trace and block, you don't even need shading. And then I was like, okay, we need some sort of pandemic themed romance title. I was really struggling and I was like, what do I call it? Quarantined with my ex. And then I called it like plagued with love. And then I called it stuck with you, you know, Ariana Grande, free Justin Bieber. But I ended up sticking with the distance between us. But I find this so difficult. I would love to hear your own versions of what you might call a pandemic related love story. The typography might represent like what's inside the book. So I was like, let me put some distance between the words us. But I didn't like the way that that looked. And I thought, okay, we're not gonna go metaphorical with the title. Like we don't have a big budget um i just play around with the blending layers so that it looks like it's got some sort of texture so i thought okay pandemic romance story two people are spread apart but maybe brr, brr, lockdown right separated from her boyfriend she's locked down with her worst enemy enemies to lovers bam there we are tick just write me up the check penguin house write me up the check ring me ring me there we go. This is a COVID contemporary romance story in 2021. Let me know which book you prefer. Which one would you rather read? You know, if you've made it this far, you get a gold star. Well done, Maji. So I want to do this thing where you can send in like the book cover title or genre or elements that you want on the cover and make up like some random ass, weird ass book cover. And I'll just like make up a cover for it which i think will be interesting interacting with this video like liking or even commenting and subscribing really helps out my channel helps support me and the algorithm you know algorithm really sucking me dry recently like follow me on my socials and i'll see you guys next time <laughs>